How about now? Can you hear me now? Is it because my mic was muted? That's really sick. Can you hear me now? Tell me if you can hear me now. How about now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Um, that's that's really too bad. Mike, I told a whole great story about how we ate soup dumplings together and that I hope you get here so that we can eat soup dumplings again because we have an okay soup dumpling place here. Not soup dumpling. I mean, they do general dumplings, but... Um, but, uh, but yeah, but yeah, get here, buddy, so that we can eat dumplings. Um, anyway, these are the, these are the, uh, awards. There's a base. There's like a base that you slot this into. Carly did these on like the laser cutter at, um, at our maker space. And, um, and I am just cleaning them up a, a, a touch, a tet, a touch. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I've got. Got wiggle bottoms of the year and all sorts of things. So, um, so yeah. So I'm gonna be just giving these a little love, and we're gonna listen to the next episode or the most recent episode because I think that I think that the live show will be sequentially like it's gonna be a standalone thing, but. Um, but, you know, it is going to be the current characters and the current time. So I definitely want to, I definitely want um, that to happen. And also, I think I'm going to maybe dress up as Kyle. Um, so, uh, you know, this isn't happening until Friday. So I've got so much time. <laughs> um. But then, and then, and then I remember the whole Metal Kyle, Skin Kyle thing, and I remember that being funny. I don't really remember who Metal Kyle is or why Skin Kyle is Skin Kyle, but I think we're going to find out. So I also have to work on my bad French accent to make it worse. Well, Amber, I'm about to start playing the most recent episodes. <laughs> so here we go. Is there's enough of you? There's enough of you. Let me know if you uh, can or cannot hear this. Episode. Can't be two. Episode 24. Metal Kyle. My name's Nika, and my pronouns are she, her. I play Rourke. Hey, everybody. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Tim Lanning. My pronouns are he, him. And I play Chuck. Hey, everyone. I'm Jennifer Sheik. My pronouns are she, her. This. And I am playing Celine Von Esper. Hi, my name is Mike Bachman. My pronouns are he, him. And I play Screech Echo. I feel like this is something that I should have asked beforehand. But are we going to record next Tuesday? I'm just going to put this out here, and then we can think about it later. We should. We have to. But I thought Bachman was leaving. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Give him the car. Give him the car. <laughs> well, we, no, we changed, the, we changed Bachman's plans against his will. Yeah, remember? You've done it at the Taco Bell parking lot before. Why not? Yeah, my, Bachman's leaving tonight, and so you can just record at Michael's house. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't that have so to. fun. I have to work tomorrow. Fuck. Previously on Greeting Adventurers. Is it cool if I uh, goose you up a little bit? I don't know. I like you as a party member. You get 12 HP. And, oh, oh, my. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I didn't know that's what you meant. Michael, can I search the room and see if there's anything I could use that would be, like, really cool for, I don't know, making a band? Okay. I'm not going to die ever. <laughs> you open it up and there's eight potions inside of it. Um, I take all of the potions and I put them in my bag. 
I can I I want can I drink one? All right, you get twelve hit points back. Whoa! Ooh, you nice. Just, nice. These appear to be potions of greater healing. You don't want to jiggle the handle? No! <laughs> I need to, it's all about setting the scene. I mean, it's definitely more boss to do it this way. <laughs> um, unless it takes multiple hits. It gets less boss with each hit than it takes <laughs> to get you through the door. You have burst into what appears to be some someone's kind of like cramped living quarters. Is where the skeleton lives? <laughs> and there appears to be a floating skull. That is a 21. Sweet, that definitely hits. And, and what kind of damage does this Ray of Frost do? Cold damage. It seems unaffected. Oh, the things better not say that. <laughs> so just nothing happens? It seems fully immune. I've got improvised, so I asked for a location and an occupation. <laughs> the zoo! <laughs> <laughs> and a businessman! That's my turn. Wonderful. So it would be 12 if you succeeded in your saving throw. I'm down. I should have healed myself. Whoopsies. Michael, do I fall where I am or am I blown back at all? <laughs> Six bludgeoning damage. Nice. Right, what does it look like when you kill it? Wow. Okay. Uh, well, I'm the only one of us that's legally allowed to use magic or anything, so. I walk up to you and cast Cure Wounds. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a, a wizard's alchemical lab. Um, you see Kyle Oakenbacher doing battle with what appears to be a huge iron snake. I say we just let that play out. You're gonna be real careful that he like with the O2 oh, person yeah. right there. So I didn't say it, and we're already at the point with the door open, but. I would want to tell <laughs> for our good. Um, but yeah, I burst open the door like, the rhyme for rescue squad is here. And I want to throw a hammer <laughs> if I get oh a free round. Oh, wow. We are in. All right. Well, we're going to have to roll some uh, friggin' initiatives. I would love to roll freaking initiative. Big D20. Wait, wait. But I got a nat 20 for my initiative roll. Whoa. So I got it. That's a 30. Holy, Holy shit! Shit! You gotta go twice. Jesus. Do I teleport in front of the hammer? <laughs> yeah, you're like already there. And I get hit. I get like hit in the back of the head because I <laughs> yes. too soon. That is too high. It's too damn high. It's too damn high. Uh, uh, yeah, I got a six, I so I might not be able to get hammer. I got a four, eleven. Wow, these Dracona Arita dice roll so smooth. If only you could go to dieharddice.com. I think legally hashtag yeah, at. If no one's doing anything and Chuck is throwing a hammer first, then that's what's going to happen first, right? Like, There's an argument to be made, yeah, that they're joined in round two. There, I've, I've been on the other side of it and made that argument, and I lost. But yeah, no, I agree. I don't always agree with your rulings, Michael, but I respect them. God damn it. So whatever you think is fair. Well, they don't know what's happening, mm -hmm. so... I, I feel like what makes more the most sense to me is if an action is initiating combat and like that's what's causing everybody else to roll initiative, then that happens first. Yeah, I usually agree to that too, but I think Michael's made the good point of like, if you try to punch someone, they might be on the ball and they're like, no, I'm not going to let you punch me. I'm going to punch you first. I'm, it's like Jet Li. You try to punch Jet Li? Jet Li's in Texas and you're being rude to Jet Li. Jet Li's going to punch you first every time. But it, it's it's a gray area. Well, it's also like just because Nika yells the fastest and loudest doesn't mean she should get to go first. But sometimes it is, though. Yeah. Whoever's the loudest or highest pitch wins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but doesn't like doesn't like things like sit like if you're like a monk or whatever, you're getting extra AC. And the implication is that it's because of your like quick movements. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. And, and for you, that's when it's going to start to be interesting. And like you've talked about is you're shooting from, or attacking from stealth, so, like, you should get surprise rounds and shit like that. Everything else, you know, it's, it's DM fiat. Who cares, right? Yeah, it's we it's it's weird. Like, I could see an argument that for, like, accounting twice for how quickly somebody can react to something. Mm -hmm. And the, he's already in battle, so he's already in battle mode, so the only argument is if, like, I was stealthy enough and surprised enough, but, like, I don't think that's true, especially because I yelled something. And then... Instead, I'm going to throw something. But it doesn't matter. It's whatever. 
It makes sense. It's not. If you choose one way, it doesn't mean it has to be that way the next time, you know? And it's also abstract. It's so abstract. I mean, what are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I, I When it's my turn. <laughs> um. All right. Well, give me a fucking second to open some stuff. Open your soul to me. Let me eat your whole body. I will eat your soul. And I'll start with your toe. <laughs> that was such a good what, song. What, now, is that Rourke? What that Rourke, was definitely Rourke. What Rourke is saying is that I still have bardic inspiration is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Um, let me check and see, honestly. I always forget how long it lasts. Oh, ten minutes. Really quick, you said this snake was made of metal, correct? Yeah. So theoretically, if I had a spell and it said that I have advantage if the target's wearing armor made of metal, but it, like, is made of metal, does that still count? I mean, is it, what's, is the spell heat metal? No, it's shocking grasp. Yeah, it would still, definitely still work. Does heat metal count, Michael? Yeah, I think so. He just he can't drop his armor. Good. The problem for me is that I have to touch it to do it, which will be very scary for me. <laughs> but I want to use it though. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, it's probably been. I don't remember when you cast uh, Bardic Inspiration on me, but I thought it was up. I think maybe you did it a second time. I have done it twice. Correct. Okay, so I think the second time is still active. Okay. But I cannot remember, and I'm arguing in favor. Letting me keep my D6 over facts. Yeah, I think it's also fine. I have no more until I take a long rest, so I am also in favor of this. Cool. Uh, Michael, we agree. Yes. Um, but I still have it. So. so we do it. I wasn't listening. Cool. All right. Uh, 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 what's up? What's happening, brother? Um. Well, uh, there's a big iron snake, and it is fighting an OT member, and it's Drop Air's turn. Wait, so did, wait, did the hammer get thrown? No. You're going before it. Or no, unless that's what you guys want to do. Like, okay. That makes most sense to me because I don't know that I would just attack a drop bear's own volition. Right. I believe that this oh in this God. room, that's you guys, guys were more paying attention than the last room. So, and especially because you got a 20, the argument could be made that, like, you are, like, so aware that, like, e even outside of it. But I, I thought you were there with me at the yeah. Point. Yeah, I think it was, but that's how that's how I read it is that I'm just aware of the situation and I would react to the hammer being thrown. But like phys physics is still a thing. I mean, I, I don't think I'm that fast, you know. Yeah, I but think I think I, Michael's right. Like just because I said it first, like what would you have done if Chuck opened the door in without saying anything or throwing a hammer? What would you have done when you saw a big snake fighting the OT guy? Mm. What had we, had we talked about pre? Had we talked about like? Fighting the OT or gaslighting the OT? Like, what was our angle? Gaslighting. I think gaslighting was a general yeah. vibe. And we've been fighting and going pretty quickly, so I think it's well within the realm that you'd go first for, like, three different reasons. But Okay. I It is fully up to you guys. Like, I I, I think probably Drop Air sees Chuck winding up to throw his hammer. Okay. Is probably what's happening. Uh, Drop, Air, Drop Air also, like, the last, like, four times that he's gone in on a large enemy has just been demolished <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, so your action could be i will hold my action until chuck gets closer because i'm too afraid you can say that yeah yeah i am afraid and you can even tell me what you want me to do you're like okay i think i think yeah i think drop bear would pretend not to notice and see how that first attack goes really fuck you <laughs> <laughs> all right throw that hammer chuck uh i'm gonna roll a d20 this is the uh the dracona arena dice you give to your DM. Um, <laughs> that is a uh, thirteen. That's just a, a blunt. That's just a hammer, right? That's a big old hammer. It is a simple light thrown uh, blunt damage. Yep. Um, it you it yeah, hits him uh, 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 and it makes a big uh, gong noise and it seems unaffected, as if you're hammer did no damage to it whatsoever did no damage to him whatsoever well, i don't like that uh so i rush forward I'll be right back i Keep um listening. use fake gift as a bonus action i get to basically take the health action which gives the next attack against it advantage and uh whoever i help 
uh, gets 1d6 plus 2 HP. Okay. So uh, why don't you... Do you want to roleplay that? I want to roleplay it? Sure, yeah, yeah. Just throw the thing. Gongs and like... Rhyme Ford Rescue Squad here to help you. Sorry about all that crazy stuff. It's been wild out here. Thank God you're here. And I like bash. Who are you? You are here to help. Um, yeah, uh, we're here to help. We saw that your carriage went down, and oh boy, th- so glad you're here. Oh, it is. Uh, we are in very big trouble. I see that, <laughs> but luckily Rhymeford is uh, always here to help out the OT when they need it. Drop Bear uses the all the time this conversation takes to look for uh, like a chink in the armor. Is the OT here? Are you not the OT? <laughs> uh, yes, I am. Insight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do I? Yeah, I can. I, is Selene, I guess I'm listening to this. Okay, I, <laughs> I agree that I would wait to see what happens with a hammer attack. I don't know that I would wait for an entire interview. Too late, bitch. <laughs> I feel Too like late. this is a bit... Do I get a whole turn? Do I get a 10-minute conversation? <laughs> yes. It's it's the way D&D works. D&D, Rounds are six seconds unless you're talking. Uh, that is a 13 I, to insight. I, I also rolled an insight, and I rolled a 22. Uh, Chuck, you uh, don't really get a whole lot okay off of him uh celine you are starting to wonder if a magical trap killed that other ot guy or (gasps) if somehow this guy didn't do something is the snake actively still attacking this guy (laughs) oh yeah um and it is now celine's turn it's my turn Uh uh-huh Wait. Oh damn, wait, Ben! You said you were you gonna wait. N- n- my, but he gave you the choice to go, and you said I will wait. I you... didn't say I was gonna wait that long. Your turn's next. Just me. This is easier for me personally. But wait, my I, my initiative was just... four. Yeah, I just skipped everybody until Chuck. Does four beat a thirty? <laughs> Cockman, you said you would let's see what would happen. So you have no pot to stand on. But I... you knew that's not what I meant. No, I didn't. <laughs> you scum! <laughs> you rat! <laughs> I what I did was I skipped everybody until Chuck, who had a six. Got it. In, in his initiative, and then I just went to Celine. Okay. But you know, if Mike Bachman really needs to have his turn because he's such a special little boy. <laughs> Inter- oh my god! Oh my god! Internally, I have I like I. I, I, tr- I trust your judgment. Externally, you I'm going to go... You never fucking go first as long as I'm DM. <laughs> 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 this is worse than double poison, I think. Well, I'm ready, so... Uh, how far away am I from the snake? You're like 25 feet away. Oh, I love to hear that. So, um, then I'm going to... I'm running up. You just, like, because you guys are, like, yelling and stuff, and then you just see Selena, like, run towards the snake. Shit, what's that? <laughs> And my, my little cape's flapping in the, you know, my... my if this is an attack, is this an attack roll or save on their part? Um, it is... It's an attack roll. Attack. So you get advantage, and you get, um... Well, I get advantage anyway, because he's metal. You get quadruple advantage. What? Which isn't a thing. And you get uh, four temporary hit points. Oh, I like that. I need that. I actually need... Ex- I have 16 out of 20 right now. No, no, don't give yourself real... Oh, I see. But I'm just saying it'll put me to... Like, essentially. Essentially. Exactly. Okay. Well. Oh, I rolled. He's drawing a red die. That's a 24 to attack. That's going to hit. Well, Mr. Snake, you're about to be zapped, sir. Oh. That's six lightning damage, and it can't take reactions until the start of its next turn. <laughs> It's like that. Yeah, how does it re- how do, So yeah, so I like- Okay, so I run up and I slap it, like, I guess on its tail. Like, I guess I like go to the like, <clears throat> farthest away from the head zone. Uh, a snake is all tail. <laughs> okay, but some parts of it are more tail than others. That's so true. <laughs> I want the tailless tail part of this. Michael, thing. does it have a rattler? I want to zap its butt. Is what I'm saying. Well, the butt's somewhere like in the middle. What? <laughs> I don't think that's true. 
I'm pretty sure it's true. The end. You want to slap the I end? I want to slap its little tail. Where's Where the, are the balls stored on a snake? Where is the balls on the I, snake? I remember being Where a... Where is this, the butt stored on a this snake? This thing's got higher balls. But yeah, so I run up, slap it, and then can I... If I go back five feet, will that... Yeah, it, it can't take your reaction, so... Oh, okay, so then I move back five feet, so I'm five feet away. Guys, the, the snake uh, cloaca is way farther back than I thought. Yeah, it's like the butt zone, fool. It's like the last third of its body, probably the last sixth of its body. Yeah, I thought, I thought, yeah, I thought, I thought it was coming third, out of his, I think the snake's belly button. <laughs> Shut up, I'm a Christian. I don't, I don't fuck with snakes. <laughs> That's Satan. <laughs> um, Celine, Kyle looks at you and goes, "It is you. You are the one." Um. Who are you, number one? Because I don't believe that you're part of the OT, sir. Do what now? You won't believe that. After I'm done with this snake, you shall be next. You mean after me and my friends kill it? Your friends will die because only magic can hurt this thing. And just to clarify, you're not with the OT. You are, and so that I shall kill you. Wait, you're, um, you're allowed to use magic now. Um, Why, who is by, this guy? by order of the OT, um, I'll like do a stamp or whatever. Just use as much magic on him as you want. It's fine. <laughs> you have immunity. Good it's one, cool. Celine. No, we... I'm for real. He's not real. Uh, He's not real. Good one, sir. He's very fake. Sorry, sir. Draw <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair. I don't have any magic. So can we stab this guy? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I sounds can, like I it. I think you can injure him. Let's just not kill him. That's all. Okay, remember, cannot do non-lethal ranged. But he's attack. a he's a yeah, rogue, so he's gonna be. He's all... also a fucking skunk. <laughs> <laughs> he's a skunk. Skunk, a real piece of shit. <laughs> um, all right, well I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be like, well, don't have to tell me twice. Kind of walk all walk over there, um, very slowly because apparently in this fight time doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> It's in a wizard's workshop. It's all fucked up. There's bubbles everywhere. It's a wizard's everywhere. world, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to do my first attack. And that's, oh, my God, that's 22 to hit, Michael. And you're hitting. I'm not hitting the snake. All right, that hits. Wait, are you going to stab this snake? magic guy? Yeah. Tim thinks you're making the right call. Chuck does not. Are you doing lethal damage or non-lethal damage? I don't think anybody outwardly said to do non-lethal damage, did they? Okay. Unless Tim did say earlier, I'm going to say things that might be mean, but I'm going to say I'm in Chuck's voice. And I think it's very mean whenever you tell us to do non-lethal damage. <laughs> I, 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 ha I actually, I have mentioned doing non-lethal damage to your characters before. Yeah, yes, and I'm not going to do that. I think that I, if, I, if I see Murderous. Drop Beer coming in hot, I probably will yell like, don't kill him. Yeah, we have to question him. Yeah, we'll question him. Yeah, but it I is I who shall be questioning you. All right, I, shut up. You're not even here. Like, you, what's your authority? Where's that accent from? <laughs> it is. You will never find out <laughs> where this accent is from. You don't get to have another conversation during my turn. <laughs> <laughs> no. Michael does improv now. Dad, what do you want for dinner tonight? <laughs> yeah, Nika's never going to get a turn on this never, part. Never. No, it's fine. I'm loving listening. I, you know, I'm just loving being a part of it. I'm happy well, to, be I, here. to be here. <laughs> and we I just gotta, like, yell at each other is very fun for us. That's D and D to us, you know. Yeah. I gotta tell you, rolling a rolling a thirty on my initiative and then having to hold that turn, it's like compressing a spring, and it's gonna be fast when it comes out. <laughs> You're gonna come so hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just rolling my second attack here, Michael, and it's a twenty. Wait, what did the first one do? Well, I didn't do. I didn't roll the damage. I just made sure they hit first. Okay. Always do damage first, and let. So that you can attack something else. Just this is Galen's Yeah, but I, I knew I can't stab the snake, and there's only this other dude here. Well, you could use your bonus action to disengage. Oh my god! <laughs> or, to, or to hide. <laughs> 25 damage. Ooh. Fucking shit. I think I die! <laughs> A lot. Yeah, I already described, like, I mean, he's not dead, but describe, uh, describe your, uh, uh what, what you do here. I find out this dude's not OT. He's wearing an OT collar. But I said he wasn't. Right. I know you guys, we've been playing a lot of D&D, but why would your characters be murderers? This is why I just, this is how I justify it. Because he's- Batman. 
yeah. famous killer of guys. <laughs> he is! No, he's not! <laughs> All the movies. He kills people. He straps a bomb and Batman returns and throws him in a hole and he blows up. That's it. It's murder. Ah, okay. <laughs> The crime, the crime in my mind is that now we've got this dude who's like using magic to impersonate the OT. Oh yeah, that's illegal. That's, yeah, that's like against the law. That's so true. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna as soon as I hear like that this guy's doing all this bad stuff, he's gonna get a couple of stabs right, right to the back. I wanna, I wanna lower that kidney function. Like he, won't, you know, he's not gonna, he's not gonna die, but he's probably gonna need a donor. Like dialysis for sure. Ooh. Dialysis. Yeah, he's he's gonna need us. All right. So two, so two knives in this guy's back. In his kidneys. Oh, I see how it is. Who oh, you are? Uh, you fake OT and you bring these uh, assassins with you. Oh, it says you. Uh, it says you. You're. You're pretending to be OT. I am OT. That's illegal. No, I'm not pretending to be OT. Well, then why were you coming to attack me? We're on the same side, supposedly. You said, oh, the OT's here? That's the first thing you said to me. And now that I'm thinking about it, that's kind of sketchy. Huh. Seems sus. I am here to start a new OT revolution. Okay, now I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> okay, well... Snake, okay. snake, can you cool it? We kind of got our old thing. Got some stuff going. Yeah, I feel like the snake is just like. Bleh. All right, now you guys hash it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'll be here. And now let's take a quick adventuring break to hear a word from one of our sponsors. <laughs> this podcast be is sponsored by BetterHelp. Times change, but sometimes our mindsets won't. Therapy isn't a bad word to be afraid of. If you're like me, I grew up in a home where mental health wasn't discussed, and it wasn't until I decided to take charge of my life and step out of the shadow that I started therapy with BetterHelp. We focus our energy on taking care of our cars or material things, but what about ourselves? We only have one body and one brain, so why not treat it to the help and support it may need? That's why BetterHelp is focused on therapy that works best for each individual. BetterHelp is better than traditional therapy because they offer online, phone, or even chat-only sessions and is much more affordable than in-person therapy. BetterHelp matches you based on what you need with a therapist in under 48 hours, so you get the support you need now. We take mental health really seriously around here, so for our listeners, you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash dragons. That's better h e l p dot com slash d r a g o n s. With a better help, become the best you. Yeah, it's uh, it is uh, it is actually Kyle's turn. <laughs> is that the snake too? Are they both named Kyle? <laughs> To the snake is named Kyle, like your name, Kyle. Also, whatever. Oh my god. Snake's like, you never asked. Uh, he fires magic missiles at skin. Kyle fire, fires magic missiles at metal Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> skin Kyle is the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I, I hate skin Kyle. skin Kyle. He fires magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh... Yeah, it's, uh, it is, uh, it is actually Kyle's turn. Is that the snake, too? Are they both named Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, Kyle, and it's a must name. Oh, you're Kyle? Kyle? Oh, my God. I'm oh, so why would you lie about your name, too? The snake is named Kyle? Like, your name, Kyle? Also, whatever. Oh, my God. Snake's like, you never asked. Uh, he fires magic missiles at... Skin Kyle fire, fires magic missiles at Metal Kyle. <laughs> skin Kyle is the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I hate Skin Kyle. Skin Kyle can go to hell. <laughs> um, Rourke, it's your turn. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. I don't know that I would that my character would want to hurt him. Has he done anything to us? But also, he is the OT. He is not. He is only. He's only fighting against the snake but also he you know he is he is talking mad shit at me he did say he just he's gonna start a revolution and that's illegal 
And I'm into that. That's fine. So I want to see where this goes. I mean, there's still a snake. There's still a big snake. Well, all I have is a, a rapier. I have to get close to it. And I don't think I want to get close to a big snake. Um, also, it's kind of cool. It's immune to to physical attacks. I don't know that, but I just You don't... saw the hammer, though. Oh, was I paying attention or was I too busy trying to sneak clove cigarettes? You'd probably still hear the reverb. Yeah. <laughs> That's a character choice. And I and I said that you guys could use magic. Well, I'm out of spells, so technically I am non-magical right now. Okay. <laughs> I've broken no laws. What's magic? Who knows? Could you try to like grab Skin Kyle uh to to tie him up, get him away from the snake or something I maybe? I could do that. And like you could also like do stuff in the environment to like, give other people bonuses and shit. Okay. Like if you want to get nutty. Like use your rapier to dig a little hole in the ground and we'll show the snake down in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think that's a good idea, but <laughs> You're in a wizard's lab, so there's all kinds of magical crap all over the place. Is there acid that is corrosive? That would be labeled as such. We all know what a corrosive labeling is. Um, yeah. Are you roll perception or? Oh shit! I well, you know, I can roll a perception, but I did not roll it well. I rolled um, I got an eight. You don't see any obviously labeled acid. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna do the next safest thing, and I'm just gonna pick up um, through how many jars can I fit in my hand? I think m me, Nika, I know I could fit at least five. Yeah, yeah, I think Rourke probably has smaller hands. So I'm going to say three. You're seven foot tall characters, smaller hands than you in real life. And, and Nika, you know, bring that. We all bring parts of our characters to every one of our characters. Maybe this is finally the, the hand character. Oh, my God. OK, this is my thing. Ah! <laughs> Look how much screen's taken up by these. Um... <laughs> Wingspan. Uh, it's, it's so, it's so long. Um, okay, yes. So I'm going to fit six potions, Michael, in one hand, and then I'm going to throw them at the snake. I don't know what they do, but I'm going to throw them. I would like to retcon everything I said. I think Rourke has crazy tiny hands. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just grabbing, like, random vials and chucking them. Yes. Hell yeah, baby. Are my daggers still in this, dude? Should I be worried? Is that how you fight? Yeah, I don't take them out until my next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever the enemy goes, I go. <laughs> but I'm definitely next to him. Nika. Yeah. Roll uh, roll to hit, first of all. It's like an improvised dex if you're throwing. Yeah, just a throw, like a thrown thing. I did get, um, my roll was a 16 and my dex is a plus two. Okay, that hits, for sure. Um, roll percentile dice for me. Ooh. The Dracona and Rita are so good at that. So, okay. And then the percentile is an 82. All right. Is that good? Is that good? Is that good, Michael? Roll again. Which one? I didn't like it. Uh, the um, percentile. Okay. 43. Ooh, that's a good number. I like 43. You better like it, too. I'm just joking. Whatever you think. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the one that I didn't again? like was just boring. <laughs> so that's no, no, no. All of these potions smash against it, and um, it, it, it's some sort of like almost magical field um, it crackles around it, and uh, it, it teleports behind you, Rourke, <laughs> <laughs> and bites you. Oh no, I hate this! <laughs> You've given it the ability to teleport. <laughs> And it's mad about that? No, I think it's... I think... Did it come to bite me or did it come to give me a kissy? Yes. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Um, Why? That is a 20. Dirty 20 to hit. That will hit. Can you please roll a constitution saving throw? I got a nat 20. <laughs> So I got a 22. All right, you succeed. Work is absolutely flossing and saying, <laughs> yeah. You, you fight off the poison as it courses through your veins, although it would have caused you confusion. So 
So, like, if you want to just let a little bit of that, you know, through. I do. I want to get a little high. So I think <laughs> what I'm hearing is this campaign, we're going to track money and harvest monster parts, mostly for drugs. Yes. <laughs> Start a budding drug business. You, you, you get it now. Exactly. Um, yeah. Chuck, you're up. And what is um, Skin Kyle doing? <laughs> Skin Kyle is bleeding profusely from the back because uh, he got stabbed. Okay. Well, I'm going to fucking bonk Skin Kyle non-lethally as a bit of strange inter-party PvP okay. uh, to hopefully do non-lethal damage to zoink him. Uh, well, I mean, with, what kind, are you doing a... a... A melee? To skin Kyle. Yeah, so it should be, if you say it's not lethal. Well, no, I don't want Bachman to kill him. Oh, I see. Um, but a, a, a kiss of metagaming, but also this is what Chuck would do regardless, so that's where they, you know, shake hands. Uh, 23. Hit. Yeah. Actually, it's over 23. Hit. Yeah. And then this is a... Uh, that's six bludgeoning damage. What happens when he falls? Uh, non-lethal. And, I, and Michael, I always do non-lethal, by the way. Unless it's for any sapient creature. Um, would you believe you do knock him unconscious? I do? You do. I didn't roll very good. It's like, good night, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you do a clonk on the back of Kyle's head, and he goes, oh, why did you do this? <laughs> and as he False. falls to the ground, drop bears, daggers come out, and I immediately, like, put my hands and, you know, don't really, like, do a medicine check, but I just kind of like, oh, gross. I just use a little bit of my natural hand salt. To apply and, and apply like some pressure to the wound and i'm out of my other bonus actions i believe because since uh even if this guy is the ot he's down so i'm casting spiritual one i don't care anymore because this is the last quote unquote surviving ot member so it just comes out as a huge uh broadsword and uh, that's like a fucking 24 or something like that. To hit? To hit. It's too much. That uh, hits. And that is a nine uh, force damage against um, magical force damage to Metal Kyle. You are weak. I'm going to drink your blood. <laughs> you say that to Metal Kyle? Yeah. Fight me, you little. And then I say some stuff that would be okay to say in the 90s, but not okay now. <laughs> I'm old-fashioned. All right, um, Celine. Okay, I'm gonna touch Metal Kyle again and give him yet another shocking grasp. Hopefully, um, that's a twenty. Guys are on fire. Well, I have advantage because he's in metal. Ugh. Three lightning damage. That's not that much. It's not a great roll. <laughs> it was not good. Um, Sometimes when I hit really good and I roll my like D six to do damage, I'm like, like wow. Um, yeah, I mean, I only had a D eight. But three, three is not great. Yeah. But but he can't take any reactions. And that's good. What is what is Skin Kyle doing? He sleep. He, he's sleeping. Now try to push uh, Metal Kyle. Then. If you didn't want him to bleed out, you shouldn't have removed the daggers. <laughs> that, yeah. like, that is kind of what I'm dealing with <laughs> is your right knee, now. Is your knee on the wound now? <laughs> I'm like spitting in it. <laughs> like oh, that's what we do in the what we do in the army. <laughs> um. Yeah, I want to try to push Metal Kyle the snake. Drink save. I mean, he's probably pretty strong. But. That's a nine. Oh, well then I push Metal Kyle five feet. Steelix. Uh, away from us. All right. Just to really show him who's boss. <laughs> Fine. And then actually, so so you, you were talking about him teleporting earlier. So yeah. is he far away from me? No, you're in a small room. I have 30 feet of movement. So I would like to, I had to move up to touch him, but then I would like to go back whatever amount. As far as I can, away from him. Yeah, there's probably like 20 feet left in the room before you'd be into a different room. Okay, so I go back there. Okie dokie. He can't do shit to me. He's like double not able to do opportunity attacks yeah. against you. I love it. Yeah, I'm basically just going up and slapping him and shocking him and like, ha <laughs> middle fingers, can't do shit to me. I bitch. do like the idea that slowly but surely as we level up, we focus in to make sure that Bachman is able to have, like, the most efficient character. Because, mm. like, once Rourke starts to get all of her rolling buffs and chuck all his rolling buffs and your ability to yeah. let, you know, him take his bonus actions freely, I'm excited for it. 
Yeah. Buffing your rogue is good. We're going to kick ass. Rogue plus nine other things, whatever is going to happen. By the time you get there, I'm not going to be a rogue anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a blood hunter. Uh, speaking of, drop bear, it's your turn. Well, I can't do shit to this thing, so I'm going to go lean against the wall and eat an apple. <laughs> you could do something cool in the environment that gives your friends a advantage. Yeah, Rourke fucking threw several bottles at it. We love Rourke for that. I'm going to do it again. You can be creative. Yeah, you could tackle it to the ground. Okay, I, if Drop Bear drop bear goes over to Rourke, get any more bottles? <laughs> uh, oh my god, I can't believe that you would be asking me, little old me, for some bottles. I was going to throw this one next because I thought it was like a really cool like blue, and I thought that like maybe it would be like, I don't know, like frosty and like make the metal snake like, I don't know, whatever. But you take Those it. seem expensive, don't break them. Yeah, say no more, and I throw it. No! Roll like uh, to hit. What am I rolling to hit again? You're just your... Throw your decks on there. Uh, 24. That hits. All right, roll percentile dice. What the fuck is a percentile dice? <laughs> 50. All right, all right, let's see what happens. Oh, man. Oh, you little rascal. You little rascal. You can't speak for the next minute. And whenever you try, pink bubbles float out of your mouth. So wait, but that does it to... That's the metal Kyle, though. I didn't drink it. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's actually metal Kyle. We've got the pink bubbles coming out. <laughs> metal Kyle Amazing. Burping out bubbles? Metal Kyle, who's not said a word this whole time. Now you really can't. I feel like I'm in the middle of something here. I could have been eating an apple this whole time. <laughs> Uh, good times. Um, oh, Kyle's dead. Let's see, I'll roll a death saving throw. No, <laughs> he's knocked out. Wait, no! No, he's not, he's not a death save. I knocked him out. I used non-lethal. No death save. Get out of here. Oh, you don't? Okay, fine. He's got huge knife wounds in his back. Rourke, you're up. Is there oil? Roll perception. 15? You see what you believe to be a vial of oil. Okay. You're not 100% sure. You're pretty sure. Could I throw that on the snake and then light it on fire? Roll to it. Oh my god, I rolled a 19 plus dex 2, so 21. Uh, it smashes against him. As soon as you can smell you're like, oh, that smells like oil. Yeah. <laughs> it's that dank shit. I do have two weapon fighting. Could I use a poker to could i use my rapier to stab a coal that's on fire and hit it with it use a do a sleight of hand and see if you can pull that off okay okay Ugh. okay i do have a plus four to this this is one of my better i don't know where these coals coming from but maybe you just like make a spark 17 it bursts into flame that's my girl stop breaking stuff though yeah. <laughs> it's always expensive make it i can hear you making a mess <laughs> Roll a roll a, a d8 of fire damage. I got a one. Great. That's my girl. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You never did anything wrong. Oh, it looked cool. It's like that stunt goop that you put on somebody to light them on fire. <laughs> that like <laughs> shouldn't this hurt? Okay, but now we know we can absolutely do this for the uh, Friday show in the tavern, Dad. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Nika meant that we were going to light ourselves on fire at Geek the Con. <laughs> oh, we could do that, too. That's how we take it up the next uh, step. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you have to you, you spit fire at me. I light on fire. Yeah. And then everyone laughs. What could go wrong? And then I die on stage in front of everyone. The ultimate glory. <laughs> <laughs> the giant flaming metal snake with pink bubbles floating out of its mouth. Hell yeah. I'm putting this on the side <laughs> of my fucking van, it, baby. I just imagine it's making noise like... I'm Kyle, 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 Kyle. It teleports over to Celine and bites no! her. <laughs> I hate that we've given it the opportunity. I use we collectively because we all did this. <laughs> uh, that's an 18 to hit. Yeah. You take six piercing damage. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Roll constitution saving throw. 14. <sighs> you succeed. Yay! Yay! Mm, we love it. So wait, wait, what, so what did it do to me? Did it bite? It bit me? It bit you and injected you with uh, venom. 
like that. Um, which would have done w- one of three cool things. Actually, only one of them is cool. Is she Venom? By Venom now? Is she Venom now? Yes. Is she hot? She's hot Venom, right? Sexy Venom. Yeah, she's sexy Venom. <laughs> to Chuck, uh, I'm going to start with my boner action uh, to uh, a spiritual weapon slash it. Ooh, daddy critted. And I'm allowed to say daddy because... <laughs> Nika said so. You're a daddy. You're a papa. So that is 2d8. One, two. Ooh. Uh, that is 16 magical force damage, Michael Damara. Whoa. That, that really throws it. In a good way? Yeah, it's like, ow. Okay, I'm going to try to restrain it with uh, a grapple. Okay, so I make an athletics check, and you, Michael... Uh, uh, Metal Kyle makes either an athletics or acrobatics your choice. Whoa. Oh my fucking god, this Dracona Rita <laughs> oh loves no. me. It's just so good. I got a natural 20. Whoa. Plus Bardic Inspiration 1. Damn, you're gonna succeed. Plus 3. So that's 24 with a natural 20. You succeed. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm restraining it. So it is now restrained. It is also on fire. I'm grabbing but the butt. Of, I'm gonna grab uh, where its butt is, Michael, which you've all agreed. The non-fire is part. the last six of it. So speed becomes zero. It can't benefit from any bonus speed. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage, and it has disadvantage on dex saving throws. It's like, all right, fuck it up. I say as I like am holding on to its. Tail I'm pretty sure. This is like trying to again in my sure mind I, it's flying. I don't know if it's flying for you guys. Sure Tim but I'm should like have failed this around. one, but I was like, it's, it's like hovering. He's trying to grapple. It's at least times. hovering. I gotta give him yeah. something. I mean, it's lightly teleporting. Celine. So how? Where? Where is um Metal Kyle? Uh, how far away is Metal Kyle's he? right on top of you? Oh, he's right on top of me. Okay, cool. Then I will just shock and grasp again. <laughs> if he's like right there, then and you have advantage. Oh, I know, cause he's metal. You have quadruple advantage because of me. Okay. <laughs> That's so good with these Dracona Rita. Um, <laughs> that is a 23. That hits so much. I'm going to use the Dracona Rita for my damage now. You should lie and say it's an 8 regardless. <laughs> it, w- it wasn't. It was a 2. <laughs> hey, 2 just, lightning damage! That it's just that- means you know they roll true. It, it, it goes... <laughs> and it gets a real good zap. And I put, and I want to try to push it. Don't do that because I'm holding it. Oh, never mind. And if you push something, they well, automatically get unrestrained. Uh, okay, so in that case, actually, I just so and Chuck was, says that. So if it was on top of me, don't push it. Then I just run back as far as I can. Yeah, and then but then you realize it's dead, and you're <gasps> like, why am I running back? <laughs> I, but that is what happens, though. I like zap it, and then I, I go, got it. Ooh! Don't <laughs> don't push it. I got it. All right, kill it, kill it, kill it. I, uh, ah! I say with my eyes closed. I don't. I don't. Chuck, I think it. I think you got it. I killed it. It's like got the little X marks in its eyes and its tongue is out. <laughs> I killed it. Wow, Chuck, you still got it. I drop it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is there anything? Is there any other doors leading out of here? There's uh, one door to the south. Can I do a perception check? Please don't be over here, anyone. <laughs> That's a uh, 16. Um, there you hear uh, what sounds like rushing water. Russian water? How do we know it's not like <laughs> Belarusian water? All right, then I'm going to open the door quickly and look in. You realize that you are at the base of the waterfall. <gasps> Fuck off. No, I'm not. I'm in a cave. Such a photo op. Wow. Guys, come here. Come here. I got to show you something. You're behind You're behind the waterfall. There's a door. <laughs> I love behind the waterfall. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Okay, oh my god, I didn't know this was here. This is gorgeous. I could have just waited. <laughs> yeah, you've heard a lot of calories, bro. Uh, can I grab um, Skin Kyle by the hair and push him up uh, on like one of the wizard benches and slap him until he wakes up? Wow. I thought you were going to push his face into the waterfall. Ooh, that's a much better up. idea. I do that. <laughs> I'm going to grab him and put his face yeah, underneath yeah, yeah, yeah. and then pull him out and like, you better start talking or else uh, and then my uh spiritual weapon sword goes up to his throat or else sorty hungry and i look at the rest <laughs> of the crew and i'm like i i that sucked <laughs> yeah, don't say that i have I'm, a lot of these like tilting hand motions like, i know no <laughs> yeah. that's better than i deserve hey uh, Rourke's still flossing 
What the? What? What are you? What is this? Zelene walks over and boops his nose. You. What was this you were saying about a revolution earlier? Go ahead, O.T. scum. No, no, no. Kill me now. No, no, no. But I believe in magic, and I think everyone should have it. This is so weird. <laughs> That's where we'll end our episode. No, I want to keep playing. Yeah. Sorry. Especially because we're not playing for two weeks. I'm not going to fucking stop my recording, Michael. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> I will don't stop it because we're not not, not, not yet alright Michael I ask him what did you mean by that no it's now <laughs> when you were cut off damn it he just stares at you <laughs> also Michael I definitely thought you said he was gonna like crack his back tooth and bite into the like cyanide oh that was so sick oh shit yeah. oh yeah <laughs> I don't oh. tell you anything <laughs> this is quite the twist I was not yeah, really I was not expecting this well no one was Okay, gang. No one expects the OT. Not even me. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. <laughs> and those of you who are in uh, Twitch chat, hashtag Arita to win um, some beautiful dice. You don't have to use your winnings to get the special edition uh, uh, Greetings Adventurers dice, but you probably should because they rule. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. All of those of you listening in the future, you can go to dieharddice.com, add some things to your order, and then enter the offer code DRAGONS with an exclamation mark, and then you'll get 15% off your entire order. That includes our special Dracona Arita dice. Tell them we sent you in the comment section. Say something nice about us. Say something nice about them. Um, you know, we, we, we are one big community here. We don't always like to, uh, use that as hashtag capitalism, but I mean, you know, I think it's true. I think, I think we are a one big community here and it feels good to buy things. Yeah. It, it, unfortunately in these terrible times, is there anything better than knowing you've got a little treat coming in the mail? Yeah, so true. <laughs> so true. So good. Congratulations to Tsunami Cowl 692. You have won the Twitch raffle giveaway. Michael is currently sending you a code if Nika gave him the list. Um, <laughs> Which Nika did. Hell yeah, baby. I was I was considering like when you messaged that to me randomly, like way before we started, I was thinking about messaging you back and just being like, same to you. But I didn't. <laughs> I don't need this. And then two hours later, where's the link? Where is it? Where the fuck is, Where is it? it? How dare you? I'm gonna start doing it like at really weird times, like Sunday three a.m. Yeah. Oh yeah. And here's the code, Michael. You should call them. I already said it. W w w w. Code has been delivered. The package has been released. The code is in the man. <laughs> Michael. Can we cancel our Airbnb and stay at your house because you have a pool? <laughs> yeah. Mm, sure. <laughs> Can you cancel GeeklyCon? Can all GeeklyCon members come to your house because there's a pool at your house and not at GeeklyCon? Can I just come stay at your house? Can 300 of your best friends come to your house? <laughs> sure. We'll get sued. We will. The hotel will not be happy with us. Okay. Yeah. GeeklyCon's on, but on Sunday night, we're all going to your house. Yeah. It's like a barbecue. It's family night. It's probably going to be like a hundred of us. We'll bring a potluck. We did that for the first Geekly Con. Can we really do that? Now I think we can do that. There's not, there was only like 30 of us in the pool last year or <laughs> four years ago. No, there is a pool at the hotel. I looked it up. No, it, it's under renovations. Michael, I literally bought a swimsuit for Geekly Con. What the fuck am I going to do if I don't have a pool? Just to wear it to something else. And go. <laughs> um, well, gosh, thank you. We're done, right? God, thank you so much, Die Hard. You're the You're best. You're the best. I... Hashtag ad, hashtag sponsor. We in love case I didn't say that earlier. But boy, get some get, get com. Get some of those Dragon Arita dice. They are hot. We're so, when 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 uh, Nika and I were talking to Diana from uh, Die Hard about like what our dice could be, and she's and we're, we're shooting ideas. She's like, "Oh, what about this?" And we're like, "Shut the fuck up, <laughs> you." Cool. Of course. It was so perfect. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, golden outline with the beautiful green, green? over the scales. Shut like, the fuck hello, up. have you seen a more iconic color duo? It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you want to get in touch with us, we're on Twitter, we're at Geekling, we're at d Podcast, we're on Instagram at Greetings Adventurers. Please, 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 please check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash d Podcast. It is so chock full of beautiful, wonderful um amazing content. years worth of content totally years and I'm years i'm on the current um cast of foaming tankard foaming tankard is our special patreon Ooh. and our um um archivist our wiki extraordinaire mr red is the dm and there's so many times the entire like cast look at each other and be like we went out <laughs> as, <laughs> as huge sweeping lore implications are said and it's so fucking funny uh, I will say, in adult, Tom Harper is a main character. Whoa! Wow. I what does he sound like? Can we get just a snippet of what he sounds like as an adult? He's just kind of like, hey. Da, 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 da. Oh, he's gotten like cool. Yeah, and uh, he's not a little lad anymore. I play a old man rip rap in it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's amazing. And we also retcon uh, Steve turning everyone into. Um, uh, flesh golems. <laughs> Why? Once we on it, we fix it. <laughs> we fix it. We address it, and then we move on. <laughs> um, alrighty. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to, I've we've got, well, I guess GeeklyCon is literally this week, so when you're listening to this. It's either, yeah, it's either going to make happen. a quick trip over to Rochester, New York, if you have yeah. I mean, yeah, we, why not live a little? You deserve it. It's worth it. Do Take it. a COVID test. I drive down. Sure. We also sell uh, single day passes. Mm -hmm. You deserve oh. it. Do something dumb. Yeah. You. Like, why not? You're already a fucking idiot. Why not? Oh, yeah, if I, you're within five hours, I'll, I'll do it. Stuff. If you're within 30 hours, just do it. <laughs> Why? If the airplane is it. only $800 or less, yeah, exactly. come on. Just you only live once. Treat yourself. Next year's going to be worse than this year, baby. <sighs> I mean, all signs point to yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> when have I ever been wrong about my awesome. predictions? <laughs> never. Never, never. That's the unfortunate thing. Uh, yeah, if you want, I got hey, a YouTube thing it's where I do crappy stuff. Play. I have. It's been a little. It, it, I'm gonna get back to it. It's what's the number? Though? What's your yeah? What's yeah, your number? As as a dear internet host, I'm weirdly I'm invested. invested. Someone in the chat did say that they subscribed, but it was not to be counted towards a dear internet number. <laughs> Specifically, it's with Greetings Adventure. I don't. As we, as I have learned, as soon as the second time, it's all bullshit. <laughs> but, but I'm so invested. No, it's not. <laughs> because we do it based on a recording, and dear internet is not streamed. <laughs> so <laughs> there's 500, 525. We hit the big, the big 500. Wait, yeah, what? 525. Oh, yeah. Holy that's shit, so that's many so more much. than dear internet. I thought you had 480 on Sunday. That's like 150 from last time. Yeah, well, uh, no, remember Nick was, uh, he was 500. 500. So. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Uh, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. But still, good job, <laughs> yeah. everyone. Nice job. We still got work to good do. Nice job, everybody. Job, internet. Love you, that's team. That's wild. The episode came out today, so therefore it counts. Uh, you can follow me, Tim Lanning, on Twitter at Tim Lanning. I have a link tree there that links to most of my projects. Jennifer Elizabeth and I are very, very close maybe even when you're listening to this, to launching our Tribulation That's Farce right. slash uh, uh, Tim and Jennifer's content whole Patreon. Um, it's going to help us fuel Tribulation Farce, but mostly it's also going to help us fuel our passion projects. Of course, Tribulation Farce is that. But hey, maybe we'll play Sentinels of the Multiverse, the board game. Maybe we will uh, finally make Jennifer freaking uh, make me watch uh, ho terrible Hallmark I'm going to make Tim watch Seeking Sister <laughs> Wife to ruin we'll talk uh... about it. Uh, we already watched um, uh, the first episode of Westworld, and we're, gonna, we're like already... Is that Free Jack? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, we got I'm, us! I'm buying Bachman a beer so that he will be part of our first uh, content drop. It's a Mystery Science Theater 3000 style uh, for, Bachman for and Jennifer and maybe me watching Free Jack on VHS. Um, but no, I mean, Jennifer and I have been making content for over a decade now, and we've always been looking for an excuse to kind of be like, hey, can you enable us to just do stupid shit? And that's what this is going to be. Uh, we don't have a date yet, so whenever you're listening to this, just check out my link tree. It'll be towards the top. Uh, but also, 
Uh, you should download and listen to Tribulation Farce. We just put a new ep out on Sunday. I talk a little bit about uh, the Southern Baptist Convention's history on abortion. And they used to not care about that shit, Yeah, actually. most Americans, religious or otherwise, didn't give a fuck or were pro-abortion until, like, what, the 70s or 80s? Yeah, pretty much. So. They tried to make... Um, like interracial dating or like um, black people voting the thing to get Republicans in power, but then that didn't like, work. Well, that's too racist. It's you too can't do racist. That. So they have to then dial they, the racism down a little bit. Yeah. So but, they chose abortion and it worked. So anyway, you get to hear both little nuggets of info like that, but also us talking about the horrible, horrible left behind books. Mm -hmm. um, and you can which I me, love, by the way. There. Yeah. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Jennifer Cheek. You can find me on Twitter at Nika underscore Howard. You can find me on Instagram at Nika at the Nika Howard. I forget sometimes. Um, I also have a link tree and pretty much everything is the same as my name. I only said all also mm, mm. rewind. I also have an OnlyFans at <laughs> Nika underscore Howard for the free page or Nika underscore VIP. Nika underscore Howard VIP. I don't fucking know anything. It's the same as my name. Go look at it. You'll find it. Come on. <laughs> it's Thursday, baby. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you can find me at the Mike Bachman and also doing game crimes in Tonight. 30, 30 minutes if it's Thursday. Tuesday. The 7th for you. If it's past that, we already did it. Are but, you doing it tonight? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I Ooh. I got we watched a movie with uh, with Amelia when we were supposed to record on Tuesday, and then I got mad sleepy, so we did uh, not do it. <laughs> I, I feel I understand. Uh, who's your game crimes host uh, co-host again? Uh, June. June was oh. like you fucking piece you of daddy have, have her. her. How dare yeah. those children? Yeah. Whenever my parent have her friends make their a choice for their kids, I hate them for it. <laughs> June's got me playing Paranoia Escape, which is like. It's like t pinball inside a nightmare body. It's really fucked up. I love that. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Until next week, keep riding that donkey. That's the wrong show, Michael. Uh, sincerely, dear internet. Until, until next week, keep coming blood. <gasps> <laughs> keep it dicey. Okay, gang, um, that is the stream. Uh, hopefully, I will see some of you very soon. Uh, I love you all, and uh, hopefully, we'll get back to a more normal streaming schedule now that I'm not doing so much GeeklyCon stuff and other work projects end. Uh, so, I will see you all soon.